Department, European Union, EU Commission, demanding visa ban and other sanctions on Peter Mba for human rights violations. So, let's read um, the letter or the petition, sorry, Prime Minister wrote to um, all these um, international communities. Biafra Republic Government in Eza, Office of the Prime Minister. Dear Sir or Madam, human rights abuses against the people of Enugu State by Peter Mba, the governor of Enugu State, Biafra Southern East Nigeria. We wish to bring to your notice that the gross violation of fundamental human rights abuses of the people of Enugu State Biafra in Southeast Nigeria by Peter Mba, the governor of Enugu State. Peter Mba is confiscating and locking all people's businesses and means of sustenance without resource, resources to the constitutions of the Federal Republic Government of Nigeria or any charter, treaty or convention known anywhere in the civil world, thereby denying the people of Enugu state the right to personal properties and the free enterprises. Today, 26 of July 2023, he ordered the massacre of protesters in Enugu state, where two innocent Biafrans were massacred and many injured. Peter Mba is currently in court academic certificate forgery during the last election in Nigeria. The elders and region leaders in Enugu state have been calling for Peter Mba to resign from office. Hence, in a bid to save his political life, he has restored to play a stooge to the ruling Islamic Party or Progressive Congress APC of Nigeria, who in turn are using Peter Mba to hunt down the political opponents. Christians in Enugu State, Biafra land. By this letter, we are notifying you of the atrocities of Peter Mba and the ruling Islamic APC party in Nigeria. We request that you impose a visa ban on Governor Peter Mba, adding, add him on the list of terrorists and haters of freedom, freedom and democracy in Nigeria. Sign Prime Minister Biafra Republic Government in Eza. So, yes, Prime Minister Simon Eba has um, written a petition to this um, international community demanding visa ban on um, on Peter Mba for human rights violation. You see what happened today, and it's still going on. Peter Mba has taken this way to um, commit evil on people and indigenous and residents of Enugu state. So many people, few people I think, or two, three, were by today in Enugu state. So many others were injured as well by the Nigeria state security agencies, Boko Haram, repentance, police, and the army in Enugu state. The pictures of what happened today in Enugu is very, very disturbing and worrisome because Mba, what he did and what he's doing in Enugu today today is what he was told to do by the Fulani Caliphate. So that's why Peter Mba used these um, means or ways in order to satisfy his um, masters, the Fulani people. So, UN other um, international communities must, must take notice of this because what Mba did today in, an, in Enugu state is crime against humanity and must be punished for that. The reason why these so-called politicians in Nigeria do what they are doing today and walk away free is because they
the international communities are not taking account of what they are doing and punish them. That's why some of them today in that country commit human rights violations, commit killing everywhere, mainly in Southeast. Hope Uzodimma did that and still doing it. Nothing has happened to him. Now Peter Mba has taken the steps of Hope Uzodimma to turn Enugu states upside down. Peter Mba illegitimate Peter Mba, governor of Fekoluwale, governor of Enugu state, has turned on his people. <clears throat> people who voted him in, well, they didn't vote him in actually. They didn't vote Peter Mba in. So, the UN, the international community, the ICC, they must take action immediately on this. They must take action. Like Prime Minister has said, place visa, visa ban on, 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 on um, Peter Mba. Sanction him. They should not let him go. Peter Mba must pay for what he did and what he's doing in Enugu State. Because what Peter Mba did today don't supposed to happen in Enugu State. Because people didn't obey his order rather people prefer obeying sit at home in solidarity for Mazenam the Kano's release but Peter Mba said that nobody should obey that order or else your shop will be taken away from you and he did that by force Deploying Nigeria Zoo Army, deploying Nigeria Zoo Police and other security agencies in Nigeria to carry out this evil attack on, Biaf on Biafran indigenous and the Enugu state residents as well. Because Peter Mba has no right, I keep saying it, he has no right whatsoever to lock up or seal up businesses belonging to indigenous of Enugu state. He has no right to do that. So UN, ICC and other international bodies must take action to stop this evil being committed by Nigerian zoo government on their own citizens. This kind of violation has been going on for a while, but the UN or other international communities kept quiet. And that's why this thing continue happening. Because if they have taken action on any one of them, I don't think others, others will learn and will not do this again. But because the UN and no one has taken action on these people. Why must Mba kill people or injure people today in Enugu state because they disobey his order? Why must he do that? Peter Mba must pay for his action. Like Prime Minister said, that Peter Mba must pay for what he did today in Enugu state. The people of Enugu State are demanding his resignation immediately. This is where we're going to stop. Thank you and God bless you all. Bye.